Chicago. Hello, my Gemini friends. It's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be your reading for February for what Spirit wants you to know. So up here will be what you're going through, and here will be your outcome for the month, not necessarily your outcome for the whole situation, okay? Let's find out what's going on for my Gemini friends. <clears throat> You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. So perhaps you're being asked to do that in a new way. Let's get more information, please. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So there's something about stepping into your power here. Uh in a very graceful yet, I want to say stern, but yet, uh, wow, has something to do with your children or a life purpose with children. Coming into a new loving way to work with your children. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Perhaps there is a need to see them or to be closer to them. We'll get more clarity here shortly. Let's find out what is the energy for the outcome. What do we got going on for the outcome and energy? Ten of Cups. Wow. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So I think you're going to be finding some absolute balance here. This looks beautiful. King of Swords. Well, there you are. Could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. Speak your mind with confidence. Seek out professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. So someone could be seeking a lawyer. Hmm. Let's find out more, shall we? Let's find out more. I feel like this, this, all, this whole thing needs to be moved over this way some. It's almost like it's off center. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just one minute here. I'm sorry about that, my Gemini friends. I've readjusted things. Anyway, I think you guys may feel that you need to readjust things this month. Uh, time to reevaluate, readjust, and move forward in a different way. What's this You Are a Lightworker card about? Whoa. We have the King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it's about building something for yourself. Uh, this is the card of the Entrepreneur. Someone who can be a little bit flighty, perhaps, coming your way. But a very creative soul. I wonder if... Hmm. Temporary pause in action. Seeds well planted. Unnecessary worry. So this is going to confirm my I wonder if. So I was just going to say I wonder if you wanted to step into something that is light worker energy. But someone has come along with a creative idea. You're looking at where, if you have enough money to do it, this King of Wands could be your significant other. But they're looking right at you, like right towards you if you are a light worker. Seeing you as very beautiful and creative. Seeing like you have a divine purpose. It's like they see it and they have the creative ability to move it forward in some way unable or unwilling to make a decision about which way you want to move forward. I'm wondering if you're wondering, uh, like, do you have enough money or have you done everything you need to do or do I have my ducks in a row? <laughs> I think there's communication coming in, new communication about 
something that you never thought about doing, but it's going to make you emotionally pleased, let me tell you. I wonder if also for some there's a pause in action which causes some, or because of your indecision, and there needs to be an apology that's made. Someone does not want to take an opportunity or an offer. The Four of Cups, it's like an opportunity coming to you, but it's the energy of, oh, I've seen what's in them cups before. I ain't doing that crap again. You kidding me? Like, I'm just going to sit under my tree here. Someone's very stubborn. It's either very stubborn or the divine is calling you to step up into your power and be powerful in a way that actually brings the results you need. This is a big opportunity, whatever this is. I wonder if you feel like in the past you'd missed an opportunity because you waited. And the divine is telling you now that it's time to step up and be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits you as well as others. I think in taking this opportunity, though, you may feel like or fear you'll be left in the cold. Uh, going inward, asking the divine for clarity. I think you've got cold feet here. But, I mean, it's a wish granted. I, I, it's definitely be about becoming a wise sage. Taking what you know and the things that you think your life experiences, looking at where you've been, seeing where you're going to head forward. And I want to say that as you take that star of hope and put it in your lantern, it will be your guiding force forward. And you have so much to look forward to and be thankful for. Business opportunity. Someone, there might be communication coming to you about this opportunity or something to do with a Virgo in some way that is like a it's almost like someone younger spouting their mouth off about something or about a money opportunity or something it's like trying to get a contract but you're going inward to find out if it's actually true or you can move forward that way. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. So the tower moment is coming and something's coming crashing down. What's coming crashing down? Wow. Whatever it is that's come crashing down, you're going to view it as a victory. You're going to be happy about that shit. It's like, I have fought a war, damn it. It could be something to do with your children. There's something that you've seen possibly coming, and I think it's about to happen. It's absolutely a victory. This is uh, somebody who gets acclamation and awards for a battle well fought. Something to do with a king of swords. Could be a legal situation. Needing a professional. Legal professional. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. I just saw the queen of wands. So it could be an Aries Leo Sag with an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Someone very creative with somebody who may seem aloof and cold. This could be your energy in some way. Taking a very mindful approach as opposed to an emotional approach you may seem like there's no emotion and i find that someone is carrying a very heavy burden and they need to put the burden down that's for sure so what's this tower about the end of a cycle and start of a new one so the divine's leveling you up. No wonder it's a victory. It's going to, whatever it is, is going to help you put the burden down. Something to do with your children. I wonder if someone's not been able to have children. Or perhaps one of your children has been with the wrong person or in a wrong relationship. and Or you could find out about something about one of your children. I'm sorry about the noise outside. It was snowing here, and so the leaf blower guys are out there blowing the snow away. Yeah, huh. 
so there's some fear, even though it's a victory, it's to move one of your children to a higher level. And there's lack of clarity, which is why they're fear. There's like a, a pathway that they're not sure about how to move down or move towards. But there is hope coming, and it's a wish granted from the divine to get them to move more into the energy of being their own boss and that sort of thing. I think there's some sort of way that you could really help them here. In the extended, we're going to go ahead and look more into these energies and the outcome. We're also going to pull a an oracle card from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. All right, so that's what the extended will be about. What's going to happen? Keep in mind that what the outcome is isn't necessarily the outcome of the situation, but just the outcome for the month, okay? So I, if this is where we part ways, I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful February, and I'll talk to you again soon.